Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. Tis I, the one only archer with Archer Astrology. How are ya? Sagittarius, it's time to do your November love energy check-in for you and the one on your mind when you clicked on this reading and decided to come and hang out with me for a little bit, which I totally love and appreciate. And if you could return the love for me and love the like down here, help get us out into the algorithm, I would totally appreciate it. Also, subscribe and set the bell, por favor. I do go live every Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern for an all signs from Aries to Pisces, plus a card for each sign. So come and join and be a part of the familia. Also, feel free to page the swords all over my channel as much as you like. I've got in your playlists some base covers with Bill here. He's a Gemini. He's totally cool. Don't worry. Um, I've also got some pick a card readings where my decks pick you. Check those out if you got something else going on. And uh, all of your weeklies, monthlies, and lives are neatly prioritized and organized into playlists for your viewing enjoyment. So just make it a day and binge watch Archer. Appreciate it. All right. And also, Sagittarius, mark your calendar for Saturday, November 11th at 12 noon Eastern. I am going live for a collab with J-Duff here in the studio for a special edition All Signs, the 11-11 Live. Um, so we're going to do, I'm going to handle the tarot, I'm going to handle the cards. She's going to handle the astrology and the placements. We're going to do some question and answers. There's going to be dub facts. We're going to have some live music performed. Bill's coming. He'll be here. And uh, yeah, tons of stuff. There's also a contest going on. If you follow the link down in the comment section over to the November 1st Live All Signs, you can enter into the contest to win one of two tarot decks or an actual clock. Just like that one. That's mine, though. You can't have that one. That's mine. Um, yeah, so you can enter. All you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to my channel and also over on the November 1st live, like the live, and down in the comment section, hashtag contest, hashtag Archer Astrology, hashtag Sagittarius, hashtag whatever you feel like tagging. We do what we want here at Archer Astrology, okay? And once you do all the, you're entered, okay? So come and be a part and then set your calendar and come and hang out with us at the live collab, the 11-11 live right here at Archer's, okay? I will see you there, and I appreciate you for being a part of this, Sagittarius. You know you're Sagittarius. You're the best. Nope, you can do what Sagittarius does. Shh, don't tell them. They'll get jelly. Shh. Okay? All right. Let's go. We're going to take a look at the November energies around you and that person on your mind, the one whom you just thought about when I said that, and go for it for your thoughts, your feelings, and emotions. As the sun and the moon are in Scorpio season, Venus is going into Libra. And you've got a new moon, eight of swords. Yeah, we're talking about this stuff right now. Transmitting and receiving for communications, all right? Um, new moon's going to be in Scorpio. Full moon at the end of the month's going to be in Gemini. And by that point, we'll be in your sign. So happy early birthday, Sagittarius. Um, it's going to be an interesting month. You've got a lot of reflection on your 12th house right now as we get ready to go into your birthday season when the sun enters into your first house and you become the spotlight performer once again for this solar return. So at the moment, your 12th house is going to let you get really deep and as I talk about it, I say it here, and it comes out here like a Polaroid picture with the moon card to the Hierophant, Cancer, Pisces, Taurus energy, and the lovers. Whoa, who are you choosing? Somebody got very lucky. Sagittarius energy. All right, let's go for it. For Sagittarius, the one on your mind, only the good and the highest messages, of course, that's a prereq here, were ultimately protected. Let's go for it. Sagittarius, appreciate you for being here. Let's go. Justice to the Ace of Wands. Whoa, who you wanting? Your 12th house gets your 12th house gets deep, don't it? Of course it does. You get all the knowledge. All right, let's go. Nine cards with a card at the bottom for the final outcome. Ten of Wands, Page of Wands, Nine of Swords. Tons of stuff going on in your mind. Oh my goodness! And nine, nine, nine of Wands. All right, the Urban Tarot is going to give us our base cards because this is going to be a deep reading. And then I'm going to throw like a billion clarifiers at it with my crow deck. All right, let's go for Sagittarius. November 2023. Sagittarius. What do we have for Sagittarius? All right, two shuffles, Sag. Let's go. One and two. Let's love this deck for the sassy Sagittarius. Here we go. Nice. Ten of stinking cups. Outcome at the bottom of the deck. Pisces energy. So in this outcome here, like, this is all of it. It's something very unique and very different, too. Like, if you wanted that awesome dream job, you got it. If you wanted that awesome dream relationship, power couple stuff, you got it. Eight of Wands, Six of Swords, and Nine of Cups. And you manifested it. You've created this outcome. You're doing this. This is unique here. Something I only dreamt about. All right, let's go. I see it coming together big time. Let's go right out of the gate. Your present position is the Eight of Pentacles, someone you work with. You share an industry or a hobby, and you're also doing a lot of work on yourself to help 
um, manifest to level up. So you have got a lot in your 12th house being energized to work on yourself and your focus. And something about the two of you guys together is you, you, you work well together. All right. Virgo energy going a little further forward. Your influence, the immediate influence is you. Just what I said. Sagittarius energy, temperance. You're creating. I said you did all this. You manifested all this. Um, I could be talking to a high priestess or a manifesting generator if you've taken that test to see where you're at in life. Check it out if you haven't. Um, but you're creating and you are pouring out onto the page. Look at the artwork that this little temperance angel here has created onto the page. Maybe a pair of boots or a certain jacket or something means something really special to you too. But your artwork is, is pouring out onto the, onto the pavement and across the brickwork and everything. So you are um, definitely in a power that you might not even be used to or a power that you're working on developing and homing. That's, that's nice. All right, your goal or destiny on this is the Three of Pentacles. A little help from spirit, getting by with a little help from your friends, getting high with a little help from your friends. Hey, the Beatles wrote that, not me. But um, yeah, Three of Pentacles. So there's a new way that you're looking at as you go deeper into your 12th house during Scorpio season to, to reflect into the unseen and see uh, deep back beyond where there's only black and you start to lift a veil that connects. Spirit's helping you do that. You could also be a Sagittarius Capricorn Cusper, a Sagicorn, because um, we got Capricorn and Sagittarius right next to each other, okay? Going forward from that one, let's take a look at some past influence and what could be, uh, you know, still working with you. Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. So the energy of something major shifting toward your birthday season. Your past influence was something that actually deep down you believed could go the distance. And you wanted it to, but they just weren't ready yet. All right, let's see. Virgo energy and 1010 10 shows up. That could be a number or a sign or an angel number that has been following you um, a lot recently. As well as the 1010 10 portal in October. Also, I'm seeing October 8th and August 3rd as two dates that might mean something to a Sagittarius. Also, March 8th. All right, some blockages. What you're working to overcome this month. We have the Page of Cups, Cancer Energy. The ability to create and to, to trust in the process I'm even seeing. See how she, this is like Cinderella getting ready for the ball, right? And, and making the dress and then going around to find the coach and the coachman and the horses. And knowing that by midnight it all turns back into a big pumpkin anyways. You know, so you're actually feeling like there's there's a time crunch or a pressure or, or, or a clock energy coming in that you're, you're watching. But there's no time in tarot. Everybody heals in their own time. That's how you get to your 10-10. All right, Satch. So going forward, the future influence to bring you out of this is the Six of Pentacles, Taurus energy. You actually do want something to come together. This is a meeting of the mind, signing of the final contracts, fixing the rewrites. There's a mission that you're on here, Sagittarius, and you've got the knowledge to bring this together. Um, something about the six and three six, thirty six, even showing up here. Um, three six. We've almost got the three six nine coming out too for this. So there is some kind of a meetup or a talk up that with this three of pentacles spirits trying to put together that you guys actually, whether it's serendipitous or not, or it's work related, June eighth, June tenth. Um, it could be something that creates you guys, okay? So let's see where we go for this one here. Going forward, your incoming energy on all of this is the Ten of Swords. Ten, ten, ten shows up as another angel number. The tens are really repeating in points of completion where you get to go forward. A lot of it. And with the three tens coming, I could see October 20th being a date that might resonate something, but you're completing. Your incoming energy is you did it. Healing from all those swords that have been put into your back for the ages and coming out of like generational curses, generational wealth, and something with these 10 tens on these pentacles, bringing in dollar cost averaging too. So, so you could be doing some investing. The seer. Your environment or factors around you are all knowing and all seeing. As your intuition heightens, you're the keeper of the Akashic Records. You get all the knowledge. And the seer here is, is freaking John Belushi. You're so focused on everything that you're accomplishing and working on that you don't even see it coming. It's John Belushi from the old Saturday Night Lives in the 70s where he's, where he's playing Beethoven and he's so focused on writing his music. Look, it's literally John Belushi on this card. Um, yeah, so he's so focused and Gilda Radner comes in. Ludwig, you must eat. And he's just like, good morning. Nice to see you. You know, you're so driven and so focused. That's something that's a beautiful, sexy quality of Sagittarius, okay? So your environmental factors are to get it right. The infinity loop is on the computer there, too. So this Beethoven's got, like, he's maybe he's got garage band or something, you know? So you're manifesting. Music means something to you guys, too. Music speaks to you a lot, doesn't it, Sagittarius? All right, your inner emotions, where we go forward from here, is the two of wands. Is my voice kind of like... I'd like a tape on a reel-to-reel -reel tape thing in a studio when you put your finger on the record or something. I kind of felt that too at once. So this this is at that choice in a choose-your-own-adventure novel where you decide if you want to go to Chapter 7 or Chapter 9 or Chapter 4 where you're going. And you're at the decision, but something's coming in to let you both come together. You're seeing some clarity to make the choice and go down the path that you want to take. 
You could have Aries energy as well, or also be a life path number two. So let's go forward and see what we got coming out of this one here. You've got Virgo all over the place. You're here too with Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Pisces, Taurus, Cancer, uh, Gemini, Aries, and like a lot of everybody showing up, okay? All right. So Queen of Swords is at the bottom too, so you're wrong to speak about it. So let's see what we got. Give me some clarifiers. English, por favor, for Sagittarius. Thanks, Sag. Appreciate you for being here. All right, let's see what we got here. Any clarifiers on the Eight of Pentacles, Temperance, and the Three of Pentacles? Sag's card shows up. Virgo, Sagittarius, Capricorn. Let's go. Knight of Cups, Cancer Energy. Ooh, something's getting ready to start moving fast. Put on the gas. No, I'm going to crash. All right, let's see. Two of Cups. Yep, put on the gas. No, I'm going to crash. Two of Cups, Cancer Energy, and the Virgo. There's serendipity at play here. You are on the verge of a major energetical shift, Sagittarius. As your birthday season approaches, you might be thinking or feeling like you need some time to correct. Angel number 22 shows up, like adjust, but this shift is where it's going to. The Scorpio energy will have you diving deep into your knowledge. Very empathic, very intuitive, very emotional. Cup energy. The Nine of Cups comes in to clarify into temperance. Pisces energy as well. So you could be going back to school, getting more into your 12th health knowledge, which is Pisces house, their placement. They're basically the doorkeeper to Club Divine. They are hooked up right to the Divine. They're the bouncer at the door. They're basically dead already at this point because they have got an intuition that your 12th house is tapping into to get deep into it, okay? Strong Pisces and Cancer energy along with Virgo. Oh, <laughs> Just in case I forgot to say Virgo, the magician shows up. You're, I told you you're the one doing this. Um, this is a major shift in, in your mindset and the brain. Maybe as well as your solar return, you're going into one of your Saturn returns, joining the 27 Club, where the brain starts to mature around the age of 27. Or, or you're heading for your 40s around the age of 39, where it happens again. Or you're, you, sometimes we're grateful and, and, and blessed enough to get a third return in our lives. You keep leveling up keep getting more knowledge and you're maybe you're going back to school maybe you're taking like a continued education type of a class getting into your capricorn energy you could have cappy placements possibly um manifesting for your work and your love life you've got everything going on here how many tabs you got open in your google browser knight of pentacles you got a lot but it's moving slow it's moving steady it's true i know most readers are going to look at the knight of pentacles here as, as the freaking slowest elmer's should or the horse should be made into glue but i look at it as the u.s postal service because no matter what the knight of pentacles even if he lets the horse rest and gets off and walks for a little bit you know it's not amazon prime but neither rain or sleet nor snow stops the knight of pentacles from getting to his appointed destination but that little ace of pentacles that he's got in his beak right there okay so maybe even possibly with the solar return a Saturn return influence. Maybe I'm actually speaking to an indigo child, possibly. Let's take a look. I want to see a little bit more about that. Give me a little bit on that. I think that's who we're dealing with. Ace of Cups to the Lovers and the Five of Wands. Cancer, Gemini, Leo energy. Teamwork making the dream work. Yeah, you might be an indigo child I'm talking to, Sagittarius. Now, now the Baraku, an ancient group of native orient healers, These they, they believed that the indigo children cannot accept the the traditional standard authoritative practices put into place they don't follow the pop culture norm okay they've got indigo children they've got uh, a unique set of of qualities that make them the most unique star children out there and it's it's like an indigo child has the ability to to carve out their own path in this lifetime if nurtured and allowed to grow in their own time in their own way you know, Hierophant energy, this is what we're talking about right now, Taurus, Taurus influence. You, They can find great prosperity in both the money, love, all of it, Three of Pentacles energy. Indigo children understand and, and perceives things completely different from, from, from the norm, from the pop culture, and, and are very authentic from all the rest. Maybe, maybe like you'd found yourself in childhood often misunderstood, or forced to grow up really early maybe you started walking around identifying as an old soul and it prospers in here because all of that energy gives you this deep empathy and intuition that you'll develop more in this lifetime nine of wands that's you the wounded warrior and working to grow from it you know having a wallet to keep yourself so protected that even donald trump would be jealous of it being like whoa that's a nine of wands well it's huge I'm told Sagittarius built it. It's a fine piece of engineering work. Fabulous, you know? So you're also very intelligent and creative if you're an indigo child. You're also, indigo children are even known as, as, as rainbow children. So like maybe even I'm talking, whoa, seven of pentacles. Maybe I'm even talking two of wands again. Two, two shows up. 
Um, Seven of Pentacles, Taurus energy. Maybe I'm actually talking to a Sagittarius who's seen a rainbow recently, or even a double rainbow, which is like that Eight of Swords that popped out during the pre-shuffle about a two a pathway between you and Spirit, you and the Divine. That's two-way, transmitting and receiving Eight of Swords. Not analysis paralysis. It's the ability, if you notice Eight of Swords has two lines and it always depicts two directions on it there, that it's transmitting and receiving energy. As Spirit uses those rainbows as a sign to light your pathway to your pot of gold, you know, basically. And like maybe you're even learning more into Reiki or other forms of healing and stuff like that too. Thank you, Spirit. So grateful. And grateful for Indigo Children as well too. All right. Going into this on the Ten of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles. Looking at your blockages and past influences that go forward in this, we have the Moon. I've got the Moon. Cancer, Pisces energy. See, maybe you, per you perform, you work better at night. Like, you find yourself not sleeping or waking up at odd hours, but you're really energized and really want to go for it. And I'm picking up on the number 285. Like, maybe along with Reiki and healing and other forms of that, maybe you're not going ASMR with the moon card because you, you would do something different. So you would go, like, down into binaural beats and a little more into diving right into particular energies. Maybe 285. 285 hertz could be a binaural beat that a Sagittarius may want to check out. Oh, yeah. King of Wands, Queen of Swords. Ooh, that's a lot of passion that drives you. And 285 hertz in the binaural beats, it sounds like being inside a cruise ship. Like inside the steel hull of a cruise ship, and you hear the engines going, and the boat in the ocean, and you hear the, the vibration of the engines, how they vibrate the steel and everything. And it's like soothing. I'm talking to a Sag who maybe likes going on cruises or something about water energy. Five of Swords. It's where you get to calm yourself, relax yourself, and and like it's it's like that the vibration of the motion in the ocean. I might be going into not safe for YouTube energies right there, but I digress. It's your reading, not mine. <laughs> All right, so let's find out about that. Very grateful, grateful spirit, love it. So something about that will help clear your mind. You're looking into more forms of healing. You're on a mission here. I totally saw more John Belushi too with the Blues Brothers. Like we got to pack spokes and we're in a car. It's two a.m. We're wearing sunglasses. Let's go. So, <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. This, you're on a mission from God. You might, you've you got the most unique energy of any other sign in the Zodiac. I caught it. Really? I caught it. I caught it, Sag. That's the first time I've ever caught one when it tried to fly, pop off the table. And it's the Seven of Swords. Along with the Seven of Pentacles, July 7th could be a date that resonates to you. That, um, that Seven of Swords is actually using this knowledge and going in to clean out and take the swords away so no more fighting. You left two swords behind, so you and your person, you still have your voices. But the other five swords that created all the problems, all the issues, all the struggles, all this past blockages, is what you took away and hidden. And July 7th definitely can resonate with the chariot showing up at the bottom of the friggin' deck down here. Cancer energy. So there could be an age difference or spirit just driving this friggin' chariot for you coming in. Something about a car might resonate to you because you have got the card of healing that is divinely guided to teach here when you combine cancer and sagittarius energy it it's also depicted on the wheel of fortune the sphinx from the chariots there and the eight of wands also has the wheel from the chariot out there so there's a lot of divine guided connections that pull you guys towards each other and brings you together on a whole new passion six of pentacles is back too for angel number 666 coming in so it's pretty intense it gets a little powerful here in spirits driving this chariot the Emperor, King of Cups, they all they all got keys to that thing there. Sometimes the Knight of Cups comes in fast using a two with the Ace of Cups, you know. But he's like just got the driver's education sticker. So there's like a governor on the clutch. But he, it doesn't bother him. He still pushes turbo boost. So going forward onto this hint here, you, with all your knowledge, has a very, very, very straight up sexy AF way of questioning things. Challenging things, challenging people, and like pushing them to their fullest potentials. Your brains are about as hot as your booty. So... <laughs> Yeah, not safe for YouTube, right? Right. Anyways, but yeah, we're going there. Um, it's like, you're, dude, your dollar cost averaging, your the Knight of Cups freaking shows up on the chariot. As I'm talking about the Knight of Cups, oh my gosh. Yeah, this is a unique love offer here, strong energy. So it's, it's kind of like what you got going on here is like dollar cost averaging in on this to make your business grow or make your love life grow. Keep working on investing in either way. It's like taking a money and career reading and interpreting and transmuting it into a love reading. So you're actually able to apply the knowledge that you have learned to both places. Or with that Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy leading this here, you all just are in the same industry and, and it, it allows you to manifest across a freaking board and somehow your work pulls into your love life. Um, either way, the huge shifts coming through this month as the sun approaches your energy here is going to allow you guys to come together and work 
um, whatever it is that you both do, because it's big in your energies and it's about your future too. There's a 10 year plan with all those tens showing up on the board still in play too. I'm being told, save your notebook, Sagittarius. I know Sagittarius. You guys, like when you're learning and when you're Googling and when you're knowledge in, like you got, hmm, yep, sun card, we're on point, let's go. You got happiness that you're manifesting, okay? All right? And being the center of it where you've got all those to save them. There is freaking money in them notebooks, that's what I'm hearing. That um, even notes about the person that went on your mind and everything. You've got something here that's going to take you to a whole nother level. And what I've, what am I hearing on it? Three of Wands to the World card. Something that's going to take you to a whole nother level. Three is a big number along with 21 that shows up. Um, yeah. Oh, it's on the 2-2. Two, 2-2-1 two. Two, two, or 1-2-2 two, two could be numbers that resonate. It's it's all that knowledge. Maybe even working on... Maybe you've got a little plan that you, you, you can blog this stuff in the future or put it on YouTube or create videos. And then it goes even further and epic with this Aries energy to the world card that it becomes getting interviewed on other people's podcasts and building more from it and getting interviewed on TV shows. And like building to a point that you're retired, you're done and out five, 10 years, boom, we're going. We're down, we're down a cruise ship and we are just enjoying ourselves, right? With 285 hertz and motion in the ocean. Um, yeah, things are going to level out to allow you guys to meet on an even energetical exchange. And you don't, you don't got to hide it. Seven of Cups, you've thought about them more than once. 777 seven, seven shows up as a number that could mean something to you. Strong July and Cancerian energy in this one here, too. It's the ability to enter into a commitment without the fear of losing your freedom. You know, setting your boundaries, just like setting a stop loss in the market to dollar cast average in and allow stuff to grow over time, regardless of the situation. Here's that you connect and grow in a way that was just divinely guided. Something told me to look at it. Six of Wands, victory. There's your win. Right there showing up. That's payout day. Caitlin Petty showing up doing all eight of her original songs on a stage to a Beatles freaking shit. I told you you're going to do something that results around the public. Yeah. And then taking a bow and being like, hm, I did that. I even pulled Stuck Loving You out of the Two of Cups on this one here. Put on the gas. I'm going to crash. So, yeah, you got victory coming in your way. And uh, heads up because it's going to be a quick, fast, awesome ride. All right. So, I have got heavy Cancerian energy, strong Virgo energy. Leo's here as well. Pisces, big old time. Gemini. Um, you got Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn are all hanging out if I didn't mention them. Aquarius is here along with Scorpio too. Um, so with your energy and the knowledge and looking at your 12th house, it could literally be any sign or placement. Pisces says, don't forget about me. Okay. So yeah. Um, Sagittarius, awesomeness. I hope this helped. If it did, if it didn't, and you just want to talk, interact, leave a comment down below. I know it takes me a few days to get to them all, read them all, but I do. I love them and I like them. Get on over to November 1st live, all signs. Check out your signs and placements. And also remember to subscribe, like that video, and leave a comment over there on the November 1st live. Hashtag contest, hashtag astrology, hashtag Sagittarius. I don't care what you hashtag, you're Sagittarius. Hashtag whatever you want. All right. And then join me along with Jada, the Mod Squad, Bill. Friggin' everybody's going to be there Saturday, November 11th, 12 noon Eastern for the live 1111 live All Signs collab. I'm still trying to come up with a really catchy title. Help me in the comments. You guys are great with words. You're wordsmiths. We need a catchy 1111 live collab type of title. Anyways, all right. Till then and until next time, remember, Sag, this will resonate to any and all placements of Sagittarius in your chart because we are not just our sun, moon, rising, and Venus, but all the parts of all our charts. And I'm FHA compliant. I'll read for any sign or placement which desires and inquires. All right? So... If you'd like to inquire, email me at artristrology at gmail.com, and we'll take it from there. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I'm like everywhere at artristrology. And until next time, just be you, Sagittarius, because you're amazing. All right? You can do anything. Namaste. Thank you, Spirit. You're adorable as always. Appreciate it. And appreciate you for being here, Sagittarius. Till next time, peace out, Archer out. Yeah, Cherry. Love you.